Video number three for the school census 2024. Teacher and principal data entry uh, offline program. Here we discuss with you uh, how to complete the, our data entry of the school level. Now I again open the our offline ASP1 final program. Uh, then again, select the TPI 2025 icon, that's a color light icon to go into the our program. Then we need to enter our username and password. Here I take an example from the Kotmale uh, Education Zone, Kotmale Division, uh, Vigneshwara Tamil Mahavidyalayam um, data file already completed. Then I use the school uh, data entry of data officer's username. Then enter the enter key. Then I want to put the password. I enter the OK button. Enter the password and again look at that if you enter the uh, capital letters for the simple letter then you can't go into the system. You need to remember that when you enter the, your password it should be correct as a simple and capital letters and numbers exactly the same as the password given to you otherwise you can't go into the program. Here I select again the school menu. Oh, here again we now select here yes, system automatically selects Vigneshwara Tamil Mahavidyalayam 05353, which from Kotmale zone, Kotmale division. Then I select the ASP1 data entry a, a action or the menu of the program number two. Then it's automatically going into the program. I already completed my data entry. It has around uh, yes, uh, 21 records in this data file. We completed our data entry. Now we know with our L1, we checked all the people who it should be included in our school as academic staff and the uh, uh, development officers who are in teaching which they have their own timetables. We, we put their information here as the school census uh, teacher, teaching staff's information. This particular Vigneshwara Tamil Mahabhujjal and there are 21 pe persons data already completed. Now I told you how to complete this task. You need to Close this button. Then we again come into the, our program. Again, you need to correctly put your user name and password. Otherwise, it's not work properly. <clears throat> Enter the OK after you put in the password correctly. Now again I select the school menu. Then I want to go into the another method. We complete our data individual. 21 per persons information already filled. Then I want to look at this uh, third option data entry status report. We want to look at this one. This one actually is a dashboard like uh, summary. It's mentioned the uh, 
all the papers we entered in uh, this offline program who are they and their summary details of their payroll number their name their serial number then the sex and the nic number then it is uh, very correctly entered there should be very unique like this one two three four five six seven eight nine and like that it should be if it is are there anything miss around 18 that's automatically tells you someone is missing here everybody information is very uh, very completely no any partial information if it is any partial information you can see it's around uh, uh, pink color if you have filled this one click it is temporarily a uh, save one you can't go further if they have any uh, temporarily save information in your uh, data set then even you have your school have more than 155 75 like big number of teachers and principals then you need to sometimes check with your nic numbers are there or even uh, like that if it is no one with this number then the eight six like that then this type of uh, uh, comparisons and uh, uh, all the information you can easily this type of uh, searching facilities included here this we call the uh, data entry status reports this will help you look at if it is your job is completed this will help you or confirm you it is completed then i close this one in addition to the this data entry status reports you can also need to look at the uh, option for r report r2 this is the again a summary report of your own schools after you completing here this particular uh, uh, Vigneshwara Tamil Mahavidyalayam altogether 21 persons in this particular school when they uh, consider a June 1st academic staff of their high school uh, out of that 21 six of them are males and uh, 15 of females there are no any person from SLES one two persons from principal service one principal other one is a deputy principal then there are 18 teachers in teacher service and one development officer involved in teaching activities altogether 21 if it is it is the, this type of summary provided every school after they are entering the data they need to download this pdf it look like this then every school need to print this document even they need to save these documents for their own future references. Here you can save the uh, your report. I put it is in uh, my desktop. Similarly, you need to take a printout of this. After you take your printout, the school principal or the head of the school need to uh, certify this information is correct according to the uh, teachers they have and the academic staff they have this need to be sent to the sonal education office with the data file mm -hmm. uh, yes that's the information this is a downloadable PA pdf then i close this is the way you can after you enter the data completely know any partial data then you can see the data entry status report from the option three and the r2 reports now your job is completed then i will explain my next uh, video recording uh, what is the next step you want to do as a school data officer